In this video, I'm just going to quickly run through uh, a case study that I set up recently, uh, kind of to show you how this, this works. So number one, you need to name the campaign. Number two, you need to pick the video that you're going to jack. Now I've already got one here and it's a Vimeo um, video. And all I've done is I've taken the VSL from this product. Uh, but let me just show you, uh, if I just lift this screen up here and then you can see which part we need. So you can see this is a YouTube video and all we need is that part there. Same with Vimeo, you just need the numbers. So let's pull this back down, back there. So you can see that we have the numbers in there. You can also search. So if you had a video in mind and you didn't know what it was called, if you could just drop in um, relevant details there, say uh, in this case, uh, Smackdown Profits um, VSL or Smackdown Profits Review, something like that. And then you could choose from a number of videos which will drop down here. Anyway, thumbnail, you can select, um, you can select from library, stock images, using uh, GIFs. GIFs is a new feature. Uh, you can also take a webcam image. As you upload any image, then you'll be able to scale and crop the image to fit the correct size. Upload, you can also upload from your computer, your machine, whatever, and it will give you the size down here. So you can see that it's uh, 1280 by 720. Okay, so I've already got one there. Uh, let me just show you the buttons. So here again, these are new features. So you can see here that this is a liquid button. This is brand new. You could also, um, you could also have, or choose one of these. So I did that for example. You can see, so I'll leave that there. Um, I'll show you a couple of others. So there's Rotate. So you could choose to have that on there, like so. Or you could choose from Animated, like that. So the play icon, you can set it to be large, medium, or small. That's entirely up to you. Now, thumbnail play button this actually stamps a play button on your thumbnail so if you were to share this on social media what will happen is the thumbnail will show and a play button will appear on that thumbnail even though it's, it's not actually on your image so as soon as it's added to social media a play button will appear on that thumbnail and it will look like a video so although vid skippy 2 doesn't actually play inside of Facebook. What it does is it looks like a video. So anybody viewing that will click and then what will happen is VidScoopy2 will take over the whole page and your dynamic video will start to play. Player dimensions, again, that's uh, pretty obvious. Now here I'm, I'm just setting up or I've just set up a simple video ad. And what I've done, I've already explained, I've used the VSL, so I've dropped the VSL um, Vimeo details in there, sorry. Now to add a video ad, all you would do is click here. Now when I click here, you'll see that the complete suite opens, which is entirely different to VidScoopy1. So I'm just gonna click here. So you can see a whole editing suite opens up to the left. Now something I'll mention here is the fact that you can use more than one video ad in each video. So let's say, for example, you had um, a long dem demonstration or a trending video or something like that. You can put multiple videos in there, as many as you want. It really depends on the length of the initial video, obviously. But anyway, so that's again, again, that's an, another new feature. So here with video ads, uh, you can use YouTube, you can use Vimeo, or you can use MP4. In this case, I've used one that I've recorded myself and that's an mp4 i can set the delay here so i can have it set to um, play before the initial video starts or in stream which is after the video starts at a point that you determine and i've determined here uh, 15 
and then advertisement banner there are lots and lots of elements i'm going to keep this video simple um, so you could add a banner if you wanted to you could add the skip button um, here i've set that to be delayed by five seconds and a call to action now again there's lots of other bits and pieces that you can add in here i'm not going to go over those now i'm just going to keep this simple um, but what happens is uh, your call to action so you need to set that up so when i click this you'll see another suite opens and these or this is where you set your call to action so you can see i've set up my uh, my bonus page there again button types you can choose one of the um, the basic buttons or you can choose uh, a custom button now these are flat buttons that you can click and you can see i've got one here and then you can have that um, any size you like so i'm going to keep that as large and i'm going to click on styling and i'm going to add that into let's see middle center like so okay and i can set the delay there as well so i'm going to click there now it takes me back to this screen and i just click save like so then if i just scroll to the bottom and update this let's see where is it okay so there it is there so what what can we do with this well we can um, we can generate html so we can add it to any wordpress or cms anything that you own um, sitejack i'll show you this in just a moment but you can basically um, display this video on an authority site in your target market your niche whatever it is uh, copy url this is just the link so you can put this link in your emails if you wanted to so if you have a list you can send your email out with this URL inside. And I'll show you that in just a second. Actually, let me just show you that now. So you can see URL is copied. And then if I go up here, paste it in, and you can see it's ready to go. So by using this link, link in, um, in your emails, instead of writing um, you know, huge emails, you can just send out one of these Vidscopy videos anybody can click it it'll open up the whole page like so and then obviously it will start playing so let's go back to fit skip you a minute um, okay so share I can share this on Facebook I can share it on Twitter I can share it on Google Plus and I can share it on Pinterest now Twitter is a little bit different um, it doesn't display quite the same but for Facebook for Google Plus and for Pinterest, it opens as a thumbnail with that stamped play icon on it. So anybody that clicks it, it's gonna open up the whole page and it's gonna be dynamic. So let me just show you that. So I'm gonna do um, Facebook. And let me just drag this down here so you can see this goes out of screen. Okay, so you can see there, uh, so I'm just going to reduce this a little bit. I'm using the smallish screen here. Okay, so I can write anything up there. So I'm just going to write uh, testing. Like so. And I can share this on my timeline. I can share it in groups and events, uh, friends timeline, uh, our pages that you manage. Um, and um, as a private message uh, but i'm going to keep this simple so i'm just going to say uh, i'm just going to share this on a page let's uh I'll share that on this page here and then post to facebook like so okay so there you can see the um the post it's shot straight over to facebook and you can see that the stamped icon the one that i chose is also on the image so if i just click there you can see it takes over the whole page and then if I click there you can see the video starts to play now I'll let this run for just a second so the video ad kicks in And you can see that my video ad 
is now in place. Uh, it kind of takes over the video and you can see the clickable button is there now. So I'm just going to click that. And you can see that it's taken it over to my bonus page. So you can see everything is dynamic and you can drop that into any social media, anything you like, and it works just like I've shown you there. Now let me show you how this works um, by placing it on somebody else's site. So you can kind of leverage their authority. So number one, we click site jack like so. You can see that this screen opens up here. So what I'm gonna do here is um, I'm going to jack, uh, let's say Warrior Plus. So all I have to do here is go over to Warrior Plus, copy the URL. Paste that in there. I'll call this uh, Warrior Plus demo. Now there are a couple of variations here in terms of uh, pop-up type. So you can have it on exit, you can have it on delay, or you can have it on site. Now when you when you select delay, you can you can adjust when your video will actually pop up. For demo's sake, I'm just going to have it on site load. So as soon as the site loads, then so will your video. A position. Um, I normally like to use uh, bottom left, but you can see that there are a number of choices. So for this example just choose bottom left. Now you can select a border to go around the video. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go over to Warrior Plus and I'm going to select that color like so. Um, just drop that in there like so. Um, size of the the player dimensions so that's the actual size of the video that will display on the site in this case warrior plus uh, let's see i'll put um four to six by 240 i think okay and if i click save and then if i click here you can see that Warrior Plus has opened and so has my video. So essentially what you're doing here is you're leveraging the authority of Warrior Plus. Now you can use VS uh, 2.0 in any niche whatsoever. So you'll probably see another um, demo video on this um, this page that is is based around kitchens. Um, I just did it just to show that VidSkippy 2 isn't all about internet marketing or making money from affiliate products like this. I mean, if you have an offline business, say, you know, in the, in the, um, the example of, of kitchens, for, you know, for example, I mean, if you had a kitchen store, if you were a kitchen remodeler, then you could set up one of these, um, one of these BS2 uh, videos, uh, like I've, I've demonstrated on this page and you could drop it on to highly trusted, highly influential uh, kitchen site or something, kitchen design site, you could just drop it on there and people you know, are gonna click it because you're leveraging their authority. But anyway, let me just show you that this works. So you can see it on Warrior Plus. If I click there, you can see that it opens down here and I'll let it play again so you can see that it does actually work. Okay, so you can see that it works in exactly the same way as I've shown you before. So I'm just going to click there and you can see it takes me straight back over to my bonus page again, which is the link that I have set up. Now in the campaign dash, you can, um, you can obviously you can generate the HTML code, um, you can site jack, you can copy the URL and you can share it as I've already shown you. You can also collect your stats. So each campaign tracks your stats. You can edit anything so it's dynamic. So if for example, you wanted to edit any part of this campaign here, then you just log in or just click the campaign and edit any aspect that you like. And then once you've done that, you just click update. Let's just go back there. You can also obviously remove any campaign that you want to. And while we're on this page, uh, let me just uh, show this little guy here. 
if you do get stuck and you feel that you need support and you're wondering what this little guy's doing down here in the right hand corner he's our support guy just click him and the support request tab will open so hopefully that's um that's been useful so you can see uh some of the things that you can do there are an awful lot more elements to vidskippy 2 um, but i just wanted to keep it simple because i know a lot of people will just be looking to get started within the next two or three minutes so it really is as simple as that hijack other people's videos hijack other people's sites and you're good to go